Thanks for the beautiful introduction, Chief Ode. Greetings, family. My name is Kenya Malinke Mansare, and I am the International Ambassador for the Gullah Redemption Mission of Sierra Leone, as well as the President for the Gullah Leone Economic Development Cooperative. On February 24, 2020, a cross-section of our executive, which included our Chairman, Alamami Bengora, Secretary General Isa Sise, Treasurer Abiose Pratt, Youth Chairman Mohamed J. Karoma, and our CEO, Chief Fode Ajamu Mansare. They met with stakeholders of Magbua Village and Karine District. The stakeholders included the chief, elders, women, men, and youth to discuss our Tools and Seeds Farmers Assistance Project. After the visibility study, GRMSL was granted over 500 acres of land to begin a mid to high level farm and planted our first 20 acres of groundnuts, cashews, rice, as well as entered into coal production. It was extremely important to establish this type of relationship with the people of Magboya, and we officially signed an MOU in May 2020 and began our farming project. So family, take a look at this historic meeting and I'll be seeing you in the next half. This is Sanda. We are in Sanda now. This is Royal Social Economic Development. Education, healthcare, food. Those three right there we want to tackle in this place. Many roots. Many roots. Many roots. Hello, greetings everybody. My okay. name my okay. name is Chief Fodea Jamu Mesere. I'm mean, the CEO for the Gullah Redemption Mission Sierra Leone. We have a program where we they focus on producing more food, food security. So we're able to foresee that in areas like this, we have land and we have population, but now tools and seeds we need more for well, increase. But when Chairman Our Mommy came back and I seen the video and the photos, my heart they cry because what? I see the condition of the school. What is happening now in America is that we I say on the road America now the stolen picking. We don't wake. We don't realize that in Africa now we're home. So, me, what you see here, past 200 years, where nobody from my family don't been here. So for me, it's a privilege and an honor to be here. And they want to look into rice production. Yes. I gotta tell you this. The reason why my ancestors go to America na rice. The white man he realized say rice it a grow in certain side in America. But the white men also be. So it come for we. You see Bont Island. Shabro Island. Mm. Now, they take we for plant rice. We go build America. We have we culture. When they take we people from here, we go to America. We've been all different groups. Timini Day. 
Fula day. Mendinka day. So, my Barry Basha from Karatari, I think we bash him in many things. Yes, many. We ancestors, we did not hear again. And Kasbum Rasu. They remember Africa. And Bokitam, some net by no. So, when we come home, after us, we are live by book, and by Ami and Tam Tamina, Bolly come, Tampa, you well. And we don't see him fine. Dear Kama Andy, check, do a worry. It is a pain we. Man monkey, I say man monkey, I satisfy well, some to that to pain. When they take we, we don't take nothing. Mana Dirika, my Bukuru Kori, and my Bashi Mureka for Margaret. This is family to us. Tamoyangi, on a snack by Aling Alingi, Uncle Cook by Ali Mapa, my nigger, no big tonight. So, um, we want to be able to um, farm with you now. But you, okay. Now, we give for start small so we can showcase. Because people don't know. But I do America. I tell to my bulono. I tell to my my come to survive. Two years ago, I was appointed the third pair of Mount Chief for my community. Didn't so much put us I do a kappa away for no by Castle North Yam. Yes. And mainly because of this mission that we're on here, it's because it's time to come home. So we they plan organize, we they plan travel around, we they plan start program and begin for cover yourself so that people can see with their own eyes what we do. And we also plan to go into tourism. Which I would like to include Magboya inside. Come on, so by planning, after money, my man did it. Don't look up for fashion. Don't look up for fashion. The tourism will be a part of reconnecting families and some of the people who will come, they will be Timini descendants, they will be Limba descendants, they will belong to, the, they will belong to you, I will bring them to you. Thank you for the word that we put it up. And the work out, the work out, the plan, the only plan that God make we succeed. Going over a few of the terms and statistics as it relates to agriculture, as well as some of the national statistics concerning food insecurities and the impact it has on the lives of the people here in Sierra Leone. What is subsistence farming? Subsistence farming occurs when farmers grow food crops to meet the needs of themselves and their families. This output only targets survival and is for local requirements with little or no surplus. While on the other hand, sustainable farming means meeting the society's food needs without compromising the ability of current or future generations to meet their needs. Although Sierra Leone ranks number two on the list of the world's healthiest diets, food insecurity continues to be a growing issue. 
A study done in January 2020 shows a total of food insecure population increasing from 34% to 47.7%. This implies that half of Sierra Leone's population, nearly 4 million people, are not consuming enough nutritious food to live a healthy life. The statistics shows at the beginning of this year that in the district that we're currently farming in, Karine, and keep in mind that this is pre-COVID, so imagine the numbers now. Those statistics show that 61.2% of the people are food insecure. And in Freetown, where we have our urban farm at the ADV Village, numbers went from 4.6% to 30.5%. This increase is largely related to the migration from the rural areas to Freetown, which is the largest and major city in Sierra Leone. Pre-Civil War, it states that Freetown population was about 250,000, and today there's around 2 million people. Food insecurity also attributes to life expectancy. Sierra Leone have one of the highest infant and maternal mortality rates. The total life expectancy here is 54 years old, ranking at 181 on the world's life expectancy scale, while the United States average life expectancy is 78 years old and ranks number 34. That's a difference of 24 years. Some known facts about Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone is about the size of South Carolina. It has beautiful weather. Um, They would consider it semi-tropical, which also has a rainforest, the Gola rainforest. 70% of the land is uninhabited. There's about 60 different minerals inside of the soil. Sierra Leone produces Kimberlic diamonds. Sierra Leone has the second largest deposit of iron, gold, platinum, so many different minerals. So anything you plant here, any seed that you literally can throw in the soil will grow. Believe me, it happened to me. I threw out some rotten tomatoes and got some plants. So I know what I'm talking about. So this place is ideal to be at agriculture center, not to just feed Sierra Leone, but it has the capacity to feed a lot of people in this world. So just imagine how important a program like our Tools and Seeds Farmers Assistance Project is. So many people can benefit from it, especially the people here who have the land, who have the manpower, who is ready to make a change, who is ready to feed them, their communities, to improve the health, to improve their life expectancy as anyone should. Um, I'm here with another very special key player in the Tools and Seeds Farming Project. Um, this brother here is someone who I have great um, um, respect for because of his knowledge of agriculture, y'all. This brother knows how to farm. And he's been doing it since a child. It's really what he does. He's out here leading the work, as you see, he has his gloves on. You know, he's down to he's down to his bare feet, y'all. That's how we get it in out here. We put our feet in the dirt, put our hands in the dirt, and get it done. And so um, I put him off the work real fast so we can have this brief interview, make sure that the world sees the faces and hears the voices and knows the people that we're out here organizing with and the people who actually do stand to receive the African diaspora. We don't care where you come from. Many Roots One Fambo come through. We're all about um, the national development of Sierra Leone and ultimately the development of Africa. And we believe that it can happen um, in part through agricultural development. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Baba Jamu, Many Roots One Fambo. One Fambo. It's so up here to be with our brother, our Gula brother, you know, all the way from America now is back home with us for real. Yes. Over the years he has been here searching for people that can able to, you know, to put things on the ground for the grassroots so that the grassroots can benefit a lot. Um, I'm from the eastern region of Sierra Leone. Okay, what part? What's that you come out? Kailan District. Okay. I'm a Mende. Okay. And um, I'm a married man. I have kids. 
um, I have high interest in agriculture. Agriculture has always been my dream from childhood. My father was a botanist. Uh, he was very good in plantation. So we always go to farm after school. We always go to farm. Okay. So you, so, so you basically grew up yes, sir. to be a farmer. That's yes, what you, that's yes, what you are. Then over the years, again, as I grew up, uh, I have to learn agriculture. I've traveled all the regions of Sierra Leone. I've learned things that you cannot get it in the college. In yeah. The, so like, the practical, the practical. Yeah. So presently now I'm 40 years old, so it's like I spend the next 40 years in doing practical things. Because I always see that agriculture is the only way out for this country because it leads to how they are taking us all the way to America because we know how to do agriculture. We have food sustainability. Yes. So it is always a dream that Sierra Leone has that enviable food sustainability. Say it. But it's lacking now because many young people now don't want to engage in the soil. They just want to be in the city after show some amenities. You know, so they are distracted from the basic human necessity. Which yes, is food. project. And this is Freetown. We're at the ADV, the African Diaspora Village. Um, you've been working this ground since we got here, from cleaning it yes, to sir. brushing it to trimming the trees. Like, I've seen your relationship to, the, to nature. You really take care and concern for not damaging things, but seeing that they're productive. I, I really admire that about you. I, I'm behind you. I'm your student. I'm learning. Yes, and so, um, and so, I want you to say briefly about what work you have done so far, and particularly um, as the planting is concerned. As we can look around, I can see that you've already begun a process here, and what you can do is basically tell the people out there. Um, what the process has been so far, from the brushing to removing the stones to separating the, uh, the the garbage, you know, the trimming of the trees, but particularly, I want you to emphasize this part, the actual planting okay. part, so we can really get it. Because there's a lot of people all around the world right now, especially here in Sierra Leone, that's planting, and so this is an educational moment, and, and and you you have the mic. That's good. Um... Now this uh this is the front stage now you're seeing. Okay. But the backstage you have to do with brushing and we clear the stones mm -hmm. and then we have to rake off all the dirt and from there now we plant. So what I have done here actually or what we have done here is mixed farming. And mixed farming and why we do mixed farming is for us to get the one food stock, you know, farm at the diaspora village. When you come to the diaspora village, at least you're able to have all the greens you need to 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 for your housekeeping for that day yeah you you want cream cream you have it you want this you want pepper you want okra yeah what else are you, you want, what you see what actually are you planting in this portion of yeah, the farm yeah this portion mainly i've plant uh cucumbers okay cucumbers yes, okay i've plant cucumbers I plant two varieties of concubas. Okay. As you can see, there is a there's it there. Yes, that's I a see. Packet. And if you also look here, there is another ceiling packet. Okay. Also here. Okay. So you're marking the areas yeah. like that. Uh, if you can look down here, yeah. you see this just a showcase. I've planted this two days ago, and then now you see it's already growing. Okay. This is yabats. We call it yabats. So onions. This is leaf. onions. Yes, sir. Leaf, onion. Yes, here we call yeah. it yabas. Yes, sir. Leaf. So we, we're going onions right here. Yeah. You know, this brother is very detailed about what he's doing. So, as you can see, what I'll be doing here also, you can see that I'll be planting here. You see, these are okra. Okay, this is baby okra. Eh? Yes, sir. Okay. These are these. You see? What? So what I did, I, I bring it very close to the stone, so it doesn't have to have anything to do with all the rest of the space. Yes. And there's still got enough space to stand there and yield well. Wow. You see? Wow. So the target is really to graze the land entirely green. Yes. To graze the land, there will be no space for the sunlight to hit the, the, the ground directly, because this brought up erosion. So that's the main target we are doing to plant so much things here. Okay. Hey, Andrew, thank you very much, man. I'm so I'm so excited to be working with you, man, because as you said, man, it's all about empowering the grassroots. Yes, sir. Our philosophy is that the people have the land, and as you see, they have the skills. They already have the knowledge, but we need better tools and more seeds so we can diversify our harvest, so we can feed ourselves, so we don't right. have to import foods from right. Europe. 
We don't have to import foods we don't from China. We don't, we don't have to it. import nothing. We can we can actually feed ourselves and help to feed the rest of Africa first and foremost. You're right. And so that is our You're goal. Right. I got love for you, brother. I appreciate you very much. So, As we say, many roots. One fumble. Let's one go. Fumble. Greetings, many roots. One fumble. One fumble. One fumble. My name is Alimami Bangura. I serve as the chairman of Bigula Redemption Mission, Sierra Leone. I am here in the diaspora village trying to demonstrate the way how we do our agriculture farming in Sierra Leone. Mainly, presently, I'm demonstrating to go groundnut in the diaspora village. Okay. Ten with my first value. Okay, that's great. So, so brother, um, we was watching you. And even this young man here, this young brother here, he comes through and helps out. You know, um, what you're doing and how fast you're doing it is surprising to me because I'm from America and I haven't seen people plant like this necessarily the same style that you use. So can you explain the technique that you're using to plant these ground nuts? Because this is tools and seeds free time, man. This is an urban farm. And um, as you know, you are... The, uh, the the leader of the mission there in Magboya, where we have been granted 500 acres. And so ground nuts is something that we're definitely going to be um, spending a lot of time with. Could you just um, demonstrate the way that you're planting these ground nuts? I'm very glad to demonstrate the, so that you can understand. Thank you. If you can see, this is the way how we do it. Okay, so you're basically... As you hit it, you you drop the seed. Yes. As you hit the ground, you drop, drop the seed. The seed yes. It's very rapid. It's very fast. It doesn't even look like you're planting. I'm happy to demonstrate to you once more again. Absolutely. At least to see. Absolutely. You, you do it fast, so at least because if you are targeting over acres of land, you have to be speed. speed. Okay. Wow. So look at the way how it goes. He's demonstrating again. Look, it's very very fast. Very very simple, guys. Look at this. And we're talking about food. We're talking about what everybody in the world, every living thing needs to survive. And so this is brother, our chairman, Almami Bangora. You know, he's a leader out here, man. He's been out here representing the cause for a very, very long time. And right now we are demonstrating with this first showcase here in Freetown, but we're looking at other potential properties. We're currently at the African Diaspora Village, Freetown, Sierra Leone. As you see, work is going on. We're out here in the farm. It rained a little bit earlier, so you really can see the darkness of the soil right now. And there go the rest of the team up there. We're taking a little break. And um, that's pretty much it. You know, special shout out to the members out there. Gullah Redemption Mission, uh, Sierra Leone International Committee. All of those who's playing their part. I can call all your names, but I won't. Um, we want to demonstrate to you and show you how it goes down in Freetown. And we're pretty sure that um, hopefully... By the end of this year, we will be able to see each other here in Freetown and continue with this Exodus movement back to the motherland. And um, shout out to everybody out there who supports the cause of Pan-Africanism and um, Sierra Leone in particular, because this is a national development project that we call all to be a part of. Yeah, greetings, fam, boy. How y'all doing? This is your brother, Chief Fodier General Mansure, CEO for the Gullah Redemption Mission Sierra Leone, among other things. Um, I'm out here at the African Diaspora Village. Behind me is the wall, but I really want to turn this camera and show you how far we've gone with our farming here, this urban farming tools and seeds project. Check this out, y'all. I just braised right around. Let you see that real fast. See them pumpkins, cucumber, okra, tomatoes, pepper. Look at this corn. We got corn. Behind them, we got a lot of ground nuts over there. So this is what it means to do urban farming in Sierra Leone. This is Freetown City, capital city. Um, shout out to our brother Daniel Ademu John, also a member of the Gullah Redemption Mission Sierra Leone, for even opening up the project, the African Diaspora Project. And this is project number one. We plan to develop this into a model, temporary state facilities. As you see, we're already putting use to the land that we're not building on yet. But at the same time, we're able to put some food in our bellies. We're able to help to um, 
sustain the environment. You know, this is a, about an acre and a half. Very, very, very prime land. All kinds of trees are here, y'all. I mean, they have, uh, uh, what's this, moringa trees here. We have mango trees here. We have um, 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 even cola. Cola tree is here, breadfruit. Many, many different trees are already here because the man who bought the land a long, long time ago, you know, he was a botanist, a man who actually was born here in Sierra Leone and found his way to New York City and worked at Botanical Gardens there. Came back, this is his family land. And then he also built a very large uh, uh, farm in, other, in, in another part of the country. So this is like a legacy land, y'all. And it is perfect. The brother who, who uh, has stepped up and brought the Gullah Redemption Mission in on the project, man, man, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We have an opportunity to show the world what we can do in Freetown in terms of tools and seeds, urban farming. If you can see these uh, potatoes, then you look, these are greens. A large portion of green, and if you can see, these are granules. These are granules, so far tie way down to that point. In this other area, you have pumpkin. Pumpkin, way down there. And if you can see this other area, you can see corn, a large portion of corn in this area, way down here. Corn. This is our urban farm. This is corn. We come into this other area where you can see a large portion of granite plantation. That is granite.